$550, which is not that much more expensive than Icon's tune. Mm, yes. <laughs> and you can use it, you can put this in what's called QRP mode. And now it doesn't amplify, you just get the power right out of the Icon, mm -hmm. but it acts like a tune. So you don't have to use the amplifier. If you and the tuners can add on? Or is it yeah, standard? the bass amplifier is $350. The tuner is uh, $200 on top of that, so it's $550 with the tuner. And it's the same kind of setup for the 50 plus? Yeah, well, the 50 plus is only available as an upgrade to the 50. So if you don't have a 50, if you do have a 50, it's $325 to get to 100 watts. Okay. If you don't, it's $675 or $875 with the tuner. And if you want to go to 500 watts, it's a whole of course. <laughs> and they get $1,700. Yep. They're all they're all HF uh, 160 to six meters. The 500 watt only goes to 10 meters. We don't recommend the 500 watt for use with 100 watt radios because even if you turn the power down, they use ALC and it puts out power spikes, or you hit the wrong button or you do something and. 100 watts into that amplifier will fry. Right. So, but if you turn it down to 5 watts, you'll be all right, right? No, because it uses the ALC to do that, right? So sometimes the first time you hit it, it puts out a lot and then cuts it back. So, yeah, the, there's lots of solutions for 100 watt to 500 watt amplifier. Yeah, the attenuator. Yeah, well, you could do that too if you really wanted to. How much does that go for? $1,700. It has an internal ATU that brings it to $2,200. And uh, so that's a full, like how much could we do on AM with that? Um, it's, so it's, it's designed to be like a lightweight sort of travel AM. You probably could get, get away with uh, 100 watts carrier on AM. Okay. You, know. you got a flyer on that? We don't, we, but you can grab the 50 and it'll point you to the stuff on the web so you can find it. All right, thanks. And it's a kit or full? Oh, it's no. We don't make. We don't sell them assembled. Well, we have an assembler that you can do sort of a deal. We send the kit to him. He builds it, and then he sends it okay. to you when it's done. But uh, the kit's very easy to do, and we have excellent support. So we say that a working amp is included with the price. So if you can't get it working, it doesn't cost any more for us to get it right. working. Right. So which parts of the kit do you actually have to put together? So you'll get you get circuit boards that have all the parts in store. They're in little static bags. Mm -hmm. You have to wind the coils on the toroid, or even the toroid guy sells kits for this right, amplifier. So you put them in the board. You have to solder them on. Um, the MOSFETs are separate, so you have to push them up through the bottom, and then you screw them down, and then solder them. Uh, there's a temperature sensor that gets soldered on the bottom of the board. This connector. We didn't want to solder it on until you put these two things together and then you solder a couple and then take it out and solder right. the rest of them. Uh, these uh, coax jumpers you have to make. Uh, let's see what else you have to do. The, 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 the back panel is completely done. All you have to do is screw it in the case. The front panel is all done. The you switches to, are on it. Any assembly if you get the tuner? Just the, just the coils. Okay. Yeah, everything else is installed. Okay.